So back in those good old prairie days, back in the when you had some type of ailment, elixir cure you right up. Got a backache? My back. How about some booze? Feeling weak from work? How about some whiskey? Need to remove that molar? Got that moonshine just for you. And today, I'm going to be trying some elixir. I hope there's no in here. Well, hell, if there is, then these people are going out of business because it was super cheap for this 12 ounce bottle. A lot of times, you know, you might give a chick a six. That's really like ugly, but we trying to be like not mean. This is Moxie's original elixir established in 1884. I'm gonna hit up these nutritional facts first. 12 ounce bottle, it says it has 150 calories. Total carbs, 37 grams. Sodium is 50 milligrams. Total sugar is 37 grams of sugar. Ooh. Don't think this is going to be sweet at all. Moxie Original Elixir, produced under the authority of Cornucopia Beverage Company in Bedford, New Hampshire. And of course, recycle. Hope the earth out. Back in 1884, I bet there were no twist tops. I wonder if it's going to be like that today. Please don't hurt my hands, please. Nope, it's a twist top. Just in case, I always have my bottle opener, just in case, but I didn't need it today. It kind of smells like old school bubble gum. Like, you know, when you're hanging out with grandma, and you're like, Grandma, you got any bubble gum? Yeah, baby, here's the gum that I have. And you chew it and you're like, oh, thanks, grandma. I uh, didn't think it'd be this kind of gum. Thought it'd be or something, but thanks anyway. I appreciate it. Hook me up. Yeah, it does smell like a little bit of bubble gum, though. No real distinct flavor. Maybe a little bit of orange in here. Nose all in the bottle, though. Almost has like a hint of peppermint or like some other spice. All right, now that I've opened it up, the only thing left for me to do is to taste it, tell you what I think, bust up a tree scale, and let you know if you should be going back in 1884 and getting some Moxie Original Elixir. Wow, it tastes like a root beer. That's probably the other aroma I'm getting. It tastes like a root beer, oh, but it has an aftertaste. Very bad aftertaste too. And I apologize if you're getting wind, because it's windy out here. You can see my camera shaking all around. Almost tastes like the aftertaste of a diet soda. Initially, it tastes like a root beer or a cream soda, and then it has a taste of a stale gum. Definitely getting root beer like right off rip. That was probably the original smell I was getting. 80% root beer, 20% water, like it's watered down root beer, but it has an aftertaste and it like sticks there on the roof of your mouth and on your tongue. The initial flavor, root beer, like I said before, but that aftertaste just ruins it for me. I don't know what they were doing in 1884, but I am not feeling this today. I'm gonna to say you're a nine out of 30, great nostalgia, decent flavor, but that aftertaste just does a sneak attack on your taste buds and ruins it for everybody. So that's why you get a nine out of 30. Should you try this soda? I am gonna say nah. pass it on up. There are a lot of other nostalgic sodas that you could be drinking besides this Moxie. It has that aftertaste in it that I am just not feeling. I can still taste it as I'm talking. So no, do not pick this soda up. Leave it on the shelf. Find something different. I'll be busting some more Patrice scales and letting you know the ones that I do think you should try. But for Moxie, original, elixir, not it. Thanks for coming and rocking with me one more time. My name is Damon, and I am out. Did you assuredly go to club? I looking, I looking.